We think of the bathroom as a place to get fresh and clean, but according to Dr. Sunil Jain, it can be more like a chemical plant. The average female is absorbing 168 chemicals a day, found in cosmetics and shampoos and creams and conditioners and sunscreens. It's just, it's everywhere. All these chemicals are no bueno. They can accumulate and leave the body with a toxic burden. A little bit may be okay, but a little bit, little bit, little bit over a lifetime is enough to create that inflammatory response in the cells and then create problems. We've got a list of potential toxins to look out for. First up, BHT, which is an additive found in some lotions. Basically, it's used to maintain freshness, to extend the shelf life. We're finding that it's been linked with cancers. In a long list of ingredients, it can be hard to spot these three little letters. So use an app like Think Dirty to scan your product. Oh my goodness, look at this long list of ingredients. I'm just going to go ahead and scan. Wow. That doesn't rate very well, so uh, on to the next. Next, check your nail polish for DBP. DBP is a type of phthalates, and when you're exposed to this stuff, it's throwing off your hormones. And when you're influencing estrogenic activity, you're basically causing the body to be in a, in a state where it, it, it can promote cancer growth. Even this little guy has got chemicals that can wreak havoc in the body. Yikes. The final toxin on our list, triclosan, frequently found in antibacterial soaps. It's making us more vulnerable when we do have a, a bacterial infection because these bacteria are starting to get resistant um, because you know nature's going to try and, uh, and always win and uh, they adapt and, and now it's contributing to this antibiotic resistance. Instead, go old school. If, if you were to just use old-fashioned soap, you know, you're not going to disrupt your own bacterial terrain. Washing your hands of a toxic lifestyle on the breakdown.